will be fine. I'm sure Scott's with her. Eh, I doubt she needs Scott's help much. Materials for this prop include cardboard, aluminum tape, duct tape, a toilet brush stand or something similar, electrical tape, several shades and tints of green paint, a quarter inch diameter dowel rod, two circular blue craft gems, a couple foam cup holders, barbecue skewers, cardstock, a hot glue gun, scissors, a ruler, an exacto blade, and a pinner pencil. First, cut a foam cup holder so that it wraps once around the dowel rod. Use duct tape to secure it and repeat for a second piece of foam right above the first. Remember when wrapping the foam to make the seams line up. See the difference? Wrap the entire handle with duct tape and add a couple extra layers around where the two pieces of foam meet. Use the width of the handle as a starting point and draw this design on a piece of cardboard. Starting from this point, my blade is 32 inches long. It is 2 inches at its widest and a half inch just before the point. The last 12 inches are on a second piece of cardboard. If you have a long enough sheet, great. Otherwise, you'll need to do what I did and line up the second piece to fit them together. Cut out the templates. Duplicate these two pieces on another piece of cardboard and cut them out. Use the first template as a guide to draw and cut out this design. You'll need two. Duct tape the two template pieces together and repeat for the second set. Duct tape the dowel rod in place to the first template. Place the second template on top of the dowel and duct tape the pieces together. Add a barbecue skewer or two to the top for extra stability. Duct tape the blade right above the handguard for extra support. Wrap the blade in electrical tape. Cover the blade in aluminum tape. Use the blade as a guide to draw and cut out this design. You'll need two of them. Wrap both pieces in aluminum tape. Buy or mix Ocean Breeze paint and paint the two pieces you just cut, remembering to get the sides as well as the faces. Line up the piece with the hilt piece from before and make a small mark at the point. Use super glue to attach the piece in place using the mark as a guide. Repeat the process for the second piece on the flip side. Use duct tape to secure the next two hilt pieces together in this fashion. Be sure to leave enough space between them to fit around the blade. Cover the back so no adhesive is left uncovered. Wrap the piece in aluminum tape. Paint the piece the ocean breeze color. Wrap the piece around the sword as shown. Cut a quarter inch sliver of duct tape and tape it around this section. Add another piece of duct tape around this section. Apply aluminum tape to all of the duct tape surfaces and repaint as necessary. Wrap this portion below the handguard in aluminum tape and paint it. Use an X-Acto blade and scissors to cut off the bottom inch of the cleaner stand. Remember to be especially cautious when cutting plastic with an X-Acto blade. Center the cut handguard on the sword and mark where the edges fall on the wings of the hilt. Wrap each of the wings in duct tape up to the mark. Wrap the same area in aluminum tape. Fold the excess wing flaps outward away from each other. Wrap each wing flap in aluminum tape. Place the sword within the ring and bend the wing pieces so they fit snugly against it. Duct tape the wing pieces to the handguard ring. Cover a piece of cardstock in duct tape and draw this design. Cut out the piece and use it to draw a second piece and cut that out. Duct tape the first piece so the circle area is at the end of one wing of the hilt.
duct tape the other piece at the end of the other wing. Connect the top of the cardboard to the top of the plastic ring using another piece of duct tape. You'll need to cut around the wing. Repeat for the other side. Wrap the ring in aluminum tape inside and out. Connect this section of the sword with duct tape, followed by aluminum tape. Paint the area the ocean breeze color. Paint the ring as well. Connect this section with a piece of duct tape, followed by aluminum tape and ocean breeze paint. Wrap the handle in electrical tape. Roll up a piece of duct tape and place it at the end of the handle. Wrap this area with aluminum tape. Mix a dark blue-green color and paint the handle. It may need a couple coats. Just a note on paint, it only takes a drop or two of black to darken the color. Use the hot glue gun to create this design along the edge of the hilt piece. You'll need to repeat for the other side of the sword. Continue to use the hot glue to create this design on the outer ring. Hot glue a dot at the circular point and place one of the gemstones. Repeat on the other side. Wrap a piece of aluminum tape between the hilt and handle for a clean, straight transition. Take a small brush and some silver paint and lightly brush over all the hot glue. If you're gentle, very little will hit the green. If it does, you can always go over it again with the Ocean Breeze paint. As a final detail, draw this design on a piece of aluminum tape. You'll need to Cut out the designs and place them at the bottom of the handle, aligned with the hilt design, not the jewels. And there's Asuna's Lambent Light Rapier. So, wanna go get a burger? Yes, I do. I want mine with bacon. You're awake! Welcome back! Awesome. What did you guys do to my show? Uh-oh.